Zoro's incredibly ambitious goal sees him target the throne of the world's strongest swordsman. To get there, Zoro needs to put in a lot of work, and he has defeated countless enemies standing in his way. Kaku was a member of the CP9, a secret intelligence agency of the government that specialized in assassination. Zoro took him on in order to rescue Robin. The fight was incredibly difficult for him, however. By channeling his inner powers, he was able to win. Zoro had to tap into the power of Asura to overcome him. However, he did so in quite some fashion. This fight was incredibly difficult for him, and it tested him on both a spiritual as well as a physical level. Mr. One was incredibly powerful, as is expected of the right-hand man of Sir Crocodile. His steel body meant that Zoro couldn't cut him at the time, and thus, he suffered terribly. Zoro was in a near-death situation during this clash, and it is only then that he received a power-up that allowed him to cut through steel. Zoro ended up fighting against King in the Wano Arc of One Piece. This fight remains to be one of the hardest that he has ever fought to date. During this time, Zoro did everything possible to defeat King, but initially he struggled quite a lot. King proved to be a menace for Zoro to deal with. However, all it took for him to defeat King was to master Genma. This sword has tremendous properties as it allowed him to channel his conqueror's body to the fullest. With this newly unlocked power, and the fact that he was able to figure out King's weakness, Zoro powered through and managed to defeat King.